In this video, NRF24L01 transceivers are used to implement a communication network where transmitters are used to send multiple sensor data to a receiver. The NRF24L01 has a feature that enables multiple transmitters to communicate with a single receiver. As seen in this diagram, we could have up to six transmitters linking simultaneously with the receiver. Each transmitter links with the receiver via a data pipe and each data pipe has a unique 40-bit address. In this project we have two transmitters and one receiver. The two transmitters are transmitting temperature and humidity from sensors DHT11 and AM2320. This transmitter is linking with the receiver through data pipe 1 which has this 40-bit address. This transmitter is linking with the receiver through data pipe 2 which has this 40-bit address. The two addresses only differ in the least significant byte. At the receiver, temperature and humidity values received from the two sensors are displayed on this uh, OLED screen. This is a circuit diagram of the first transmitter which shows the AM2320 sensor interface with the Arduino using I2C connection and also shows the RF module used as a transmitter connected with its adapter and the adapter is connected with the Arduino using SPI connection. And this is the circuit diagram of the second transmitter which shows the DHT11 sensor connected with the Arduino using a digital pin and also the RF module and its uh, adapter connected with the Arduino via SPI. This is the receiver circuit and we have the receiver module uh, connected with its adapter and uh, interfaced with the Arduino using SPI. And we have this uh, 0.96 OLED display connected with the Arduino using I2C connection. And we have two LEDs connected to two digital pins. This blue LED will be on when there's a connection established between the receiver and the transmitters. And uh, the red LED will be on when the connection is lost. Note that the adapter module is supplied using an external power supply. This is important to uh, add stability to the receiver module. In this demonstration, we know temperature and humidity from both sensors are displayed on the OLED screen. Also note the blue LED is on indicating connection between the receiver and the transmitters. When connection is lost with one transmitter, its related sensor data is blanked from the screen as you can see here. When connection is lost with all transmitters, the screen is completely blanked and the red LED is turned on. This is the C++ sketch for the AM2320 transmitter. We use variable pipe1 to store the 40-bit pipe address. And here we have structure named sensor which has three members. The first member is a floating point which stores the temperature. The second is an integer member to store the humidity. And the third is a byte member to store the sensor number. Next we declare this uh, structure variable of type sensor. And then we assign to member sensor number this value, 2 which will be used at the receiver side to identify the transmitter. Inside the loop function and every two seconds we get the temperature from the sensor and store it in member temperature and then we get the humidity and store it in member humidity and then using the radio object we transmit the structure variable with all its members. This is the code for the DHT11 transmitter we define the 40-bit by address and then we uh, declare the structure sensor with all its members and then we declare the structure variable and then store in the sensor number member the value of 1 which will be used at the receiver to 
identify the transmitter. So within the loop function and every two seconds we get the temperature and the humidity and then using the radio object transmit the structure variable with all its members. Now a quick look at the receiver sketch. We need to store the pipe addresses pipe 1 and pipe 2 so that the receiver can identify the transmitters. And we declare this uh, structure sensor with uh, three members and we declare the structure variable so that the incoming temperature, humidity and sensor number can be stored in its members. Within the setup function we assign the RF receiver to listen to pipe 1 through the pipe 1 address and we also assign the RF receiver to listen to pipe 2 through its address. Inside the loop function we check the availability of any packets uh, at the RF uh, receiver and if there are then we uh, get the packets from the first pipe and then display the data on the OLED screen by calling this function and then we read the uh, data packets from the uh, second pipe and then display the data on the OLED screen. While data packets are available at the receiver the uh, blue LED will be on and the red LED will be off. When there are no data packets and the connection is lost between the transmitters and the receivers then the red LED will be on and the blue LED will be off. Inside function display sensor data we check the sensor number so if it's uh, number one it means data is coming from the DHT11 so we display on the OLED screen the temperature in Celsius and the humidity in percentage on the screen, top part of the screen. And if the sensor number is 2, it means data is coming from AM2320 sensor, so we display the temperature and humidity on the bottom half part of the screen. In conclusion, Transceive NRF 24L01 can easily be used to establish a multi-link wireless communication system to transmit and receive data. Thank you for watching.